Transporting with your boy Major, and I am the host of Major Transport Services LLC. You call it, we'll, and we'll haul it. You know the phrase. Anyway, today I wanted to do a, a live on um, a very important thing to know since I'm going through this thing, and that is trying to recover from a load. I'm trying to recover from a load. I'm trying to recover from a load. All right, so the situation was this uh, I came up from Atlanta to Moody to drop off a load actually i was in griffin so i picked up a load in griffin came here dropped it off in moody so i'm actually at the truck stop so this is the livest and the realest this is gonna get we're here in moody alabama at the odessa truck stop or auction I, i'd say i meant to say so we're at the auction and uh man my backhaul meaning my return load that i was supposed to take back to atlanta has uh canceled so well, they didn't really cancel. They just canceled for the day, but I can still get the load tomorrow. I can still get the load tomorrow. But as for now, the load was canceled. So what do you do? Out of nowhere, you got to find um, you got to find a way back home. You know what I'm saying? Oh, by the way, I'm using uh, this. This ELD is called uh, Line 8, but they changed the, the name to a new name. Uh, I got to let you know. But Line 8 was the ELD. Hey, this is only 20 bucks a month. No contract. Uh, not to veer off the subject, but this is 20 bucks a month to uh, run your ELD. And they're they a great system, bro. Great system. And it's only 20 a month, straight 20, no $20.50, no 20, just a flat 20 a month. It comes out of your bank, whatever ACH you give them. It could be Cash App. It could be however you want. You know what I'm saying? And they'll drop it. You're good to go. So that's your ELD, bro. Anyway, uh, so I was talking about how to recover from a low, man, when, when you just got canceled on the spot here i am way out in alabama now i'm in i'm from atlanta came out to alabama you know from griffin to drop off a load now that load paid 320 that load paid 320 this is the load i just dropped off it was from griffin that was like a three hour drive but it was so that paid three 325 so that's what damn my shit rotating my bad 325 is what that load paid. So um, I dropped it off and I was going to go pick up my my, my backhaul, man, and they, they canceled on me. So like I said, <clears throat> I was showing guys how to get on here because people ask me all the time, like, how do you book loads yourself? I'm like, well, since I fist to book me a load right now live, I might as well go ahead and do it live. So and this is what I talked about the other video, the importance of having a printer on deck because you never know when you might just lose a load and you got to print out paper to go in. Now, you see old boy at the guard shack over there. Now, he's at the guard shack. He's not going to, you know, let me get the car out. If I find the car in here, he's not going to let me get out unless I got the paperwork, right? The gate pass. So, anyway, I just dropped the load off here. I'm a frequent flyer. I come here all the time. And anyway, so when you get canceled on the load all of a sudden, then you need to find a load. Now, mind you, it's about here in Alabama. It's about 425 because I'm in Alabama's time. So it's about 425. Now I got to get a load back. This place here closes 7, 7 p.m. You got to have it checked out. Now you can drop in at any time. You can deliver at any time, 24, 7, seven days a week. But as far as picking it out, they only say like 7 o'clock. Now there's been times I pulled up here, man, and delivered at like 9 o'clock. And since I, since I was delivering, he went in and let me pull out one. But anyway, so here I am on the fly, you know, trying to find a load. I'm on central dispatch right here this is the main load board that most transporters go to to find loads now, as you see i didn't already pulled up what i'm kind of looking for i'm trying to find a load out of this is my work list now if i want to look for a load i can go to listing and then i can actually you know go to my destination my origin right here put in where i want to you know put in my origin and then i can put in my destination you know what i'm saying uh so that's how you do that but uh, since I've already been looking a little bit, I got to work in my work list, like where this tab is, this is where I kind of saved some loads I kind of was brushing through and saw. So you see the rates like $2, you know, $200 to get me back home. Now, since I want to stop, since I'm in Moody, I was been looking at Moody. You see, I see a lot of loads. I think I might get this one. It's from Moody to Fairburn, which ain't too bad. But the thing is, too, whatever I pick, I want to be able to drop it off tonight. I ain't trying to hold it tomorrow because I got to go out to uh, 
Chattanooga tomorrow and I don't want to be caught up trying to deliver a load in the morning. That morning is very critical, you know what I'm saying? Getting off early to early start, especially when you got like four or five loads for the day. But anyway, guys, you see, as you see, there's the rates. This is what I'm kind of looking for. I don't mind going to Birmingham, which is only like 20, 30 minutes up the street. And that take me to Norcross for 200. What's that pan? That's a BMW. And the broker is called, uh, what's it called? Yellow something. Yellow Fin Logistics. So you can click on that and it'll open that page up. Then you can see more, a little more information like the load order, what they're paying. See, this is paying COD cash. So as soon as you pull up and deliver it, they should pay you. It's going from Birmingham to Norcross, and you know they need that going back like now. You can view the route right here. Click on that; that'll view, let you see the route, so you can kind of get an idea, you know, where it's at. So I don't mind. See, see. Oh yeah, I'm about to book this. Well, it's you know I live over in this area, so I will be kind of far away, maybe about 30 minutes away, which ain't bad. I can go deliver tonight if they let me deliver tonight, meaning they got a night drop. I'll deliver tonight, then I'll go ahead and, you know, get home tonight without a load, free free with no load, and I can get up in the morning and start my day. So, we're going, we're going, you know, we might check that out. So, let me give them a call, but first, I'm going to put a little, I'm going to change my ink out real quick, because my ink was dead. I wasn't getting no type of full print when I was printing out some paperwork earlier, so that let me know my ink have backup ink guys don't just buy your printer and buy one slab of ink thinking that's going to be it because you're definitely going to run into some situations where you know your ink go out what you going to do run to walmart real quick when you're on a time frame you got to have some stuff uh with this system here they have a backup they have an automatic ink uh deal where they uh, ink re uh, ink supply or reply or refill i mean um where every like couple weeks they just send me ink in, on GP whether I need it or not they just send it to me and I pay like a one time fee and it just comes so that's so we got the printer ready to go and actually I booked two loads while I was on the way out here so I have to actually print that paperwork out too but anyway so let's get on here and let's call one of these loads man and go ahead and book book this load I think uh, I'm really really Filling that to Norcross. See, it's 200 cash. That's another thing, too. I want to get cash going back. I don't really want to wait on my money. Now, the load that I was taking back today was paying 190 and It was only going right by my house. You know what I'm saying? Going to Mannheim right there off uh, Camelton Road. Everybody know where that's at. That Mannheim auction off Camelton Road in Atlanta. It was coming uh, from the area kind of over here, but going back there. And they, they have a 10 o'clock, you know, they don't close at what, like 10 or something tonight. So, I could have dropped it off tonight for 180, well, I mean 190, but I would have had to wait a couple of days to get paid. So since this is all kind of on the fly, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get me some with some cash, man. I like cash. You know what I mean? There go Assertus. Assertus got some in. Always got coming at these low rates. <laughs> but um, let's see. There's something for 275 from Birmingham to Atlanta, but that's probably a big old bus or something. It's a 2018 Sprinter van. So what you can do is you can highlight that, right click it, and then search it, right? So let's just see what it looked like. So it's one of those Sprinter vans, right? One of the Mercedes, then you can put in the curb weight. Cause that's what you really wanna see is what the curb weight is. See how the curb weight popped up, click on that. Get an idea what this thing weigh. See it weighed between 4,600 and 6,000. It normally don't weigh that, but they, they tell you that just in case, but it normally don't weigh that. I usually be somewhere around there. If it's really light and it's empty, nothing's in it, it's just a big old van, it's empty with a, it's just a big shell, then I can get it because my, my trailer is, even though it's a one-car haul, it's like 5,500 pounds. So I could get this if I really wanted it. And the rate ain't bad. Like I said, it's 275, man. 275. <sighs> But it ain't COD, so it means you gotta wait a few days. And with a new, they send you like a company check and all that. And I already been dealt with them before, so we ain't gonna mess with that. Just because I just don't really want to deal with something that heavy and then gotta wait to get paid. I'm trying to get some money now. They're gonna want in Bessemer, a little Kia. It just posted two hours ago. Um, that is a COD. Yep, and it's going. Where is it going? To Lawrenceville. Uh, it's a little ways out from my house. 
they have, like I say, I don't mind going a little far out if they got night drops because I don't want to be driving forever tonight and then got to hold on to it till tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and um, it's that Lawrenceville. See, this one would have been perfect, but it's a little too big. I may just settle on out for the 140, man, only because it's in Birmingham and it's going to Atlanta. Let's see where it, about where it's at. Okay, see? Let's go back to my bad. Damn it. So this is, um, let's minimize that. It's too big. So it's kind of in the area, and it would have to go, it would probably go maybe 30 minutes from the house. Because like I said, I live over in here, so dang it, my bad. It's going, you know, a little further out the house, so I'm probably not going to take that. I'm going to look one more place, and I'm going to go ahead and just call something and get it, because like I say, um, I'd rather do the Moody low since I'm over here in Moody. That's a Ram 1500. I know where that's going. I've delivered here before. This this company, that's right, Peachtree Corners. That's literally like 20 minutes from the house. But uh, I don't really want to take no big truck right now. May have to deal with this from Moody to Fairburn right here and just take the uh, Sierra because that's cash. That's cash. If I took this one, this would cars arrive. You know what I'm saying? And I can get it. This is what cars arrive. I could get it, but they, you know, they got like a two, three day pay weight system. And it's only 200, right? It's 200. So it's basically still the same price as this one. I could see if it was 250, or 300, and I would. But since it's only two, I'm going to go ahead and get this one. Well, I'm going to try to get it. So this is what I'm getting, guys. 2005 Toyota Sierra. That's how much it weighs. That's the dimensions of it. You know, it's paying 200 and it's paying COD. Okay. And then this is a little bit of the information on it again. This is the broker. This is how you, what you're going to be looking for. So you just go on there. You see if everything looks cool for you. And if it does, go ahead and call that number. So we're going to call this number real quick <clears throat> and see. Let's see. Right here on the fly, guys. This is how we do it. 404 519. I'm going to show you how you talk to them and everything. Six four eight eight. We're gonna talk to him and everything and see how it go. Hopefully this is available. This is how you do it. Hey, how you doing man? I'm calling about a load on Central with order ID number AL. Which one? That's the uh you got the 2005 Toyota Sienna from Moody. Oh, no, the only or, only order number is A. Should we say why that's in call mode? It's, it's from Moody to Fairburn. Okay, let me look at it. I'm going to call you right back. I don't know who called it. I was somebody already called me earlier. Somebody posted it. One of my friends probably did. Let me, I'm going to call them. They're going to call you. Okay. Call me right back. All right. All right. All right. Later. Well, that's weird. He talking about somebody else called on this load, and he didn't know about this load. So he may not call back. That's how, you know, that's how it go. He probably, he may call back. He may not. So <clears throat> my other option is go ahead and get this 1500 Ram. Just go and take this. I can actually, I can actually go on their website, their portal and get this without having to call them. But I'm going to call them just to show y'all how to do it. Other than that, everything else is going out of, coming out of Birmingham, going back. And the prices ain't like too much. So you drive, if you're driving further for less money or about the same money so i might as well go ahead and settle for the big truck and uh just get it right here where i'm in moody so let's call cars arrive and see if we can go ahead and get that okay we'll just get that let's so let's hit that number real quick now if dude call back if dude calls back then we possibly will get that because like i say that ain't a bad and they paying cash i'd rather get the cash but you know we'll see cars arrive what they talking about <laughs> Sorry about the sniffing, man. This damn pollen. Kill me. Let's could have put this on the spot. If, if you are a transporter, press 2. If you are calling about All right, guys. So this is how you do it. This is where cars arrive, guys. This is how you do it. We would appreciate your feedback. 
At the end of this call, we invite you to remain on the line for a one-question survey. If you know your VIN number, please enter the last six numeric digits, followed by the pound sign. If you do not know your VIN number, please, please remain on the line for the next the available line. representative. All right, let's see if we can get this load here for 15, this 1500 RAM. I know we can. I should have went online and just, you know, did it. Order ID number 187. As a matter of fact, uh, I could probably go on their portal and try to, why they got me on hold. Cars arrived, can I get your company name please? Yeah, Major Transport Services. LLC of Atlanta. One moment here. I got you. So give me that company name one more time. Major Transport Services, LLC of Atlanta. Go ahead with the load ID that you're calling in on. Yeah, that'll be uh one eight seven six seven nine five nine. It's in Moody, the Peachtree Corners. Uh, it looks like that is available. It's coming out of um, Moody, going to uh, Peachtree Corners. Peachtree Corners. Yeah. And it does run. Yeah. Cool. Is that the price negotiable since it's a huge truck? Uh, let me see here. All right, you because I deliver there a lot. They usually give me about two, two twenty five, two fifty when I when I take a truck from over there. Yeah, we just we don't have it on this one. Yeah, we're, we're just all in at two hundred on this thing. We just man, we just don't have it. Oh man, we ain't making nothing on this. All right, well, uh, is it here in uh, Odessa or is it at the American Auto Auction? Yeah, it's Odessa Moody. Okay, I'm over here right now. I just delivered, so I'll pick it up now. If you wanna go ahead and send it. Okay. All right. One second here. You better know it. And also, I wanna- All right, I got it done there for you. Okay. I'll just wait till the order come through. I can go ahead and print the paper, the gate pass. Um, also, while I'm online, I wanted to just update a load, one load that I'll be, I was supposed to get today, but uh, I couldn't get it. They, they set an auction, they closed. I mean, the repo closed a little too early. So just want to let you guys know that I'll be getting it Friday. I'll tell you what load it was. Friday? Yeah, I got it. Cause they, they, they have a scheduling, you know, it's at a repo. They, they only have like what's available. So they what's told the load number? it's uh one eight seven one oh three six five. It's from Bessemer to um Mannheim. We called and got it scheduled on the schedule, so we finally got it figured uh, worked out. Cause uh, at first it wasn't I wasn't able to get them to verify, then they finally finally did uh, this past Friday set the appointment up but uh I, I just couldn't make it in time so we got it scheduled up for friday because they don't have anything else available so just wanted to let you guys know because i don't want to cancel it. i still want to get that load only problem is your original date was the 11th was 11th no i wasn't 11th yeah that might have been a glitch um because that was supposed to have been picked up today I'd have to go back and look on there. Um, but can you put in the notes? I'll get it Friday for sure. And turn it in Friday. Yeah, I just don't, I don't think I can go out that far. Or just leave it alone and I'll just, I'll see what, you know, I'll call back and see. But I just want to leave it in there because um, I, I, I might be able to squeeze it in earlier, but we're looking at Friday for sure. But um, I'm gonna. I gotta go because I need to get. I need to really get this car out of here and get it back. Um, but, uh, you you sent this one though, right? Yeah. Okay. I thank you, man. I appreciate you. You have a you have a yeah, blessed no day. Problem. All righty. You as well. All 
All right, bye. All right, you see the email. The load has come through that he just sent. Since I got the printer and everything hooked up, like I said, that's very, very valuable to have a printer. I can go ahead and print my stuff out. Um, so I'm going to go to my email. So now that I, so you see how I called him and, you know, I didn't really, I shouldn't have said nothing about the other load. I really shouldn't. So guys, don't say nothing about stuff, man. Let's just leave them in the dark. Usually cars arrive, won't mess with you unless you just too far out from dropping off a load. But if it's only a few days late, they ain't going to mess with you. I was, I'm a little too late. But see, they sent it already here. So we'll click on it and we scroll down. You know, first I save it into my system and then I click on it to bring up the paperwork. Bam, and then I'm gonna print it. Command P, Command P is print. There go to print, I'm gonna print that out. Bam, send it to the, you know, send it to the printer, baby. And we'll get that done. See the printer's trying to register the information. Well, we just changed the ink, so maybe, hopefully that ink issue. Uh, print. There we go. All right, so we'll print all this paperwork out. So we'll close that out, go to the next one. The next paperwork. This is the actual Oh, this is the gate pass there. So this is how they'll send you the gate pass. So you click on that show me. And it, it's, it's, it's going to come up. All right, there you gate pass. Command P. Command P. Print. Hit print. Bam, there go my gate pass. You got to have this to get out. They don't care about nothing else you got in your hand. If you got that gate pass, you can get out, out with that vehicle. So anyway, I try to squeeze them for 225 250 because normally getting out of here going to where i'm going to where i'm taking that in the past i've gotten like 250 for anything bigger than just a regular size economy size car you know like huge suvs um trucks and things like that but you know sometimes when they just dispatch it and they haven't been new like they just assigned it out to the low board usually they don't try to give you much on it they try to see if it can sit there for a while and if it sits there for a while nobody's interested then they'll work a deal what the hell i guess it's part of the <laughs> uh, anyway here's the order coming i should get some more papers other than that too it should be in, um like the actual the raycon i know it ain't this ain't it but anyway um so yeah so now since i have that this order here I can go ahead and, uh, you know, like I say, it's 200. So you got to make sure all that's there, you know, 149. So then I'll go to their portal, their cars arrive app, their actual portal. I meant to say portal, not the app, but the actual portal, which is, you know, on your computer. Like I said, that's why you need a laptop in the car. So you're my paperwork. So now I'll uh, go ahead and uh, log in. I'm already preset. Log in. This is Cars Arrive again, guys. This is a broker who they're really, really good when it comes to, you know, trying to like start out your business, getting getting loads and stand on on the load board, you know, stuff like that. Oh, God. Got to get some gas. So I got my gate pass so I can get the truck out. And all I need to do is walk up to, to the guard shack and tell him, hey, I'm give him this. He'll he'll look it up. He'll tell me where it's at. And then um, I'll go pick it out. I might take y'all with me to do it, show you how to do it. I just know that video is going to be crazy long. And I don't know if <laughs> that'll be good for me trying to grow my channel. But I really want to show you. I really want to go find, show you how we find the car, inspect it, and the whole nine. So we'll go up here with this. And uh, we'll, like I said, I got one more thing to print out. So I'm actually on cars arrive, like I said, on their portal. So I click that load right there, those numbers. Now my loads come up. See, this is the load. Odessa Moody to Express, US Express Auto on Peachtree Corners. $200. So then I go over here and I hit, well, I click the, I click the load first. Click the blue highlight so it can come up. Now there's the dispatch sheet, right? I come over here and I hit bill of lading. Now there's my paperwork. Now I want to print that out. Command P again. 
Command P. And then, you know, of course, print. <laughs> Sorry about the sniffing, guys. I'm, like I said, a little pollen. I'm not sick at all. I'm good. <laughs> uh, let's go back to my ELD. So I went to off duty because I'm just chilling. I'm off duty. I might as well, you know, get off duty and save that little time. So, all right, so we print that out. And once we print that out, I got a little stapler right here. You know, I keep a stapler. Like I say, this is your office, man. So you got to, just like an office, you have to have a stapler, you know, staples, extra staples, just in case, you know, that, you know, your staple run out of staples. You know, you want to staple stuff to keep everything organized. So here we go. We're going to print all our paperwork. Now, I usually put the order in front like so. And in the back, I have the gate pass. That way, I don't be digging through all no papers when I get up here. So there you go. You staple that up. Now, I have my paperwork. Now, I can go ahead and fill this out if I want to. But with these guys, cars arrive, they, they make you um, use their their app they have a cars arrive app that you have to go to the app store and you download it and you use their um their portal or their app to uh inspect your car if you use your app or something else they more likely won't try to pay you man they they ain't got real strict with that so you gotta be able to use their app so all i'm gonna do is just fill this out real quick driver name and stuff because when I walk in there, he's going to stamp it. Have him sign right there. The pickup date is the 22nd, I think. What is this? The 22nd? Yep. 23. And then we'll do this side, driver's side. Because when I pull up, I, wanna, I already want to have everything ready to go. So they can just sign their part on the X. And then we're good. And we'll take a picture of this when everything, when both parties sign, we'll take a picture of it and we'll upload it into their portal, Cars Arrives portal. So when I send them the digital BOL, the bill of lading, which is like the receipt, showing them the before pictures and after pictures, they will have this too to see signatures because they're just big on signatures. That's all they want. So now that I got this filled out, which is that simple. Like I said, I got the gate pass, which I'm going to give the guard at the guard shack. He's going to look up that stock number. And he's going to see that the car is here. He's going to tell me where it's at. It's a truck, matter of fact. And then I'll go over there, find it, um, and then I'll um, pull it out. Now, the thing about this place, it's a huge lot. Now, because that thing, that truck could be way, way in the back. If so, they usually let me drive my little one-car trailer in and just go drive over there to the place and pick it out. Because they know, man, that's like crazy far. But anyway, y'all saw, I just booked the load. You know, I've searched the load. I had different choices. I've picked the load that, you know, would be the best out of the ones, even though, you know, ah, I don't really care for it. You know what I'm saying? But it's still, you know, a chance to, you know, what I mean, we weave out what you want. I was just thinking about some I got off track. My bad. But anyway, I went I picked through the pickings. I picked what I wanted that fit, fit best far as like me dropping off and being like uh, mind you, the place that I just booked at, U.S. Express Autos or whatever that was, I've delivered there maybe like nine different times, and they have a night drop. They have a night drop, so that's why I didn't mind getting them because I know once it's a, and it's only like a two hour and some change drive home. So when I get there, they won't. Um, they'll let, they'll be closed, but they'll let me drop it off. So let's see where that address is. Let's put it in real quick. Uh, let's go to mine. My maps, everybody up on their maps. You know we gotta mess with that maps, baby. That's how you get home for show show. So we putting it in 2545 Express. It should pop up because I've been been here so many times. Express. Damn. Oh, there it is right now. That ain't it. Come on, man. I thought it would pop up. Let me make sure I'm putting it in right. 4745. Oh, no wonder, duh. I'm putting in Express. That's the name of the place. 45, 4745 South Berkeley. Should pop up. South. South Berk. B-E-R-K. 
Nope, it ain't popped up yet. Burke. B E R K B E R K E L. Oh, there it goes. Berkeley. No, that's Berkeley Walk. That ain't it. Come on now, where are you? Let me just put it all in. Fuck it. Oh, there it goes right there on top. Duh. So I tapped that. See? Told you it ain't far. Two hours and 14 minutes. So this is 200. You know what I'm saying? Going back. Now I got, I just showed you, I got 320 coming up. But before that, I got a $90 load from Atlanta to, I picked it up in uh, Copart. I picked that bad boy up this morning at Copart at 8. Dropped it off down in Jenkinsburg, Georgia, which is like an hour and 15 minute drive. Dropped that off and I drove like dead headed 30 minutes over to Griffin. Picked up the load that I brought here and that was paying 320. So we got 320 plus 90, then plus this 200. So that's what, five, that's close to $600, you know what I'm saying? On a cool little day run. And look at that little spider. So um, yeah, that's it guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you how on the fly, live this is how you get loads man this is how you recover from a load when you just blown a load whether they canceled on you or whether you messed up and got there too late and they had to cancel whatever the case is you have to recover man because you can't drive home dead deadheaded means drive home you know empty empty means deadhead if you drive somewhere you know with nothing on your back that's deadhead as they call it you don't want to go deadhead and also i got three hours and 40 some minutes left in my time now i have a friend here he stays in a, a homie. He's a transporter, too. He lives, like, about 20 minutes away. I'm going to pull up on him. We're going to blase for a minute because, you know, that's my homie. We're going to, um, you know, get our little chief on and chop it up real quick on a, number, a couple of things. He's going to show me something, um, a trailer that he's trying to get rid of. It's a two-car hauler because I'm about to go up to a two-car hauler, two hauler. So I'm going to go over here, hang out with him for probably 30 minutes to an hour, and then I'm going to Head on home with the load. Like I say, it's a night drop, so I can just pull up, drop it off. Everything cool. Well, guys, I'm about to end it because I can't really take y'all in to show y'all everything, which I can. But I just think this video will be way too long. If you want to see something like that, give me a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments, you know, let me know, man. And I, I definitely will show y'all a video how you pull up, you know, check out the load, how you inspect it, get it out of there. Strap it on the car, get it to where it got to go and, you know, get paid in a whole nine workout. So I'll show you that if you want to see it. Just let me know. I don't mind. Other than that, I don't want to just put a long video out. I don't think nobody going to be interested in watching. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all got some value out of this. I hope y'all enjoy this little video and got a little game. Um, anything I can do to help, man, just holler at me. You know, I'll get right back at you, man. It ain't nothing. Uh, oh, 10 toes down, towing called you and interrupted the live. Oh, okay. Is, man, okay. My bad, my bad. Or is that somebody telling me that? Anyway, I still got to get used to this whole live thing. But anyway, man, I'm out. It's been 33 minutes recording, man. Y'all remember, man, you know, major transport services. Uh, if you ain't already following me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. So every time I go live, bro, y'all can already know what's happening. Cause I go live on these things. I ain't got time to be editing too much. Y'all check out my other videos too, man. I got, I'm giving a little game on some other things. Uh, but anyway, we out baby. So y'all hold it down and stay safe on the road, man. All right. Peace and blessings. We out.